Um, we have a big Dollar Tree haul. Um, my Dollar Tree hauls are always big, aren't they? Anyway, Sabrina wanted to hang out, so we're going to get this party started. Okay. Um, just so you guys know, you do know that we are going to Florida. I'm going to put this back. So I've been picking up stuff for our trip here and there. So, um, some stuff you're going to see this is, I got crafts. Stuff, some stuff crafts? for crafts. Oh, I'm crap. Crap. Oh, so first, I went to no. the big Dollar Tree and found, and um, the big Dollar Tree. The big Dollar Tree. <laughs> and I got one, two, three. Is it gigantic four, enormous? Five. It's the big one. I got five of the material, Girls. the fabric, the little fabric strips. I figured these would be better for journaling instead of those big pieces of material. So I got the bumblebees. Y'all know me and bees. <laughs> I got the, um, kind of the country, you know, the farmhouse little look with the bikes and stuff. Really? What? People don't want to see all that. I just sit in here. <laughs> got the moon and the stars. This one had the gnome. The gnome's kind of like a spring, kind of spring look to it, I think. And this one was, you know, the farmhouse stuff. And then I got these. Aren't they cute? Yeah. These were just so cute. The little slothy guys. And then when the coffee says lazy day, take your time, tree hugs. I thought that was a cute one. Yeah, we're going to get a big shop. We're going to thrift store shopping tomorrow. Okay, and then my store finally got in things that monks are finally, finally got um the stencils something awesome stencils so i got the embrace the rhythm of the season and of course you can use each word differently so that one um gnome sweet gnome this one isn't it cute uh be kind how to get the bees and the flower pot and then this one had this kind of like a mix of stuff. So it had the owl and the different flowers and the butterfly. It's funny, I was going through, I'm going, do I need that? Do I need this? And then I'm like, oh, if I don't get it, I'll be mad when I do decide that I need it. And we finally got the farmhouse ones. So I got the farm fresh and the R story farmhouse, the best things. So it's got all three. And you could use these um, for fabric, you know, on fabric with fabric paints. You could use them with, um, they just wash right up. You can just wash them right up. And I got, it's good to be home, wash and dry, and then just some leaves. And then the farmer's market. I'm going to go fix up the books. Okay. Bye. I'll be back later. Okay. <laughs> and then this was new to my store. Oh, man, did I do it? I did. Oh man, <laughs> do you ever do that? Okay, these are new to my store, and they're crafting paper pads. Now, <laughs> there were four different crafting paper pads, but they were all like mixed in there together, so it was kind of like ah. So you had to like pull like fifteen out to get one, and but and I thought I had got one of each, but it looks like I got two of this one. So if you guys can kind of see them there, and I'm going to open it up. So I got two of this one, and I thought these would be nice for journaling. They're just like nice little quotes. Uh, like this one says, let's dare to be ourselves, for we do that better than anyone else can. So just little like quotes and stuff. There you go. This one says, "Um, the question isn't who is going to let me, it's who's going to stop me. Oh, I like that one. That's a good one. Um, life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. These are, I like these. I think I might just take these and you could even frame these. They're really, some really good quotes. So I ended up getting two of that one. But that's okay. I'll use it. And then I thought these were so cute. I didn't even look inside. I just saw they were animals. And I was like, yes, please. So I'll just go show you. You got the one. They look like, um, almost like a sticker. And these two, you could, I could see these. So you get two of each. 
So you get how many in each one? I didn't even look. 16 sheets, 8 designs. Okay, so two of each design. So the owl, these would be just adorbs. And if you had a preschool, if you had a nursery, you know, for a nursery, just so cute. What else we got? We got the raccoon. Vicious little things, I'm telling you. I live in the country, they're vicious. And then this one was just kind of like a little bit of, a little bit of this and a little bit of that kind of springy. So I'm going to show you. And I, I've got so much scrapbook paper from when I was a scrapbooker that I really don't buy anything. But these I thought, because they were little, was okay. So I got those. And so I'm going to get back to my scrapbooking. Will I make scrapbooks to sell? I don't know. Um, I still haven't made up my mind completely on that one. So, all right. I don't even know how many bags I got, guys, because I got bags inside bags inside bags. Because, you know, when they package everything up, they don't package them up that great. I didn't stop at any of the Valentine's Day stuff because I was on a mission to buy one thing when I went into the store. And, of course, I walked out. So, this is a $100 haul. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I spent $100 at Dollar Tree. Hundred dollars, Dollar Tree. I was like, oh my god. So I found these. It's got the welcome. It's got the little thing right here. I want to try. I'm gonna see if I can get like a dowel of some kind, and maybe do because I got the other one that says garden, and then the one here, the rake that says bloom. And I thought it'd be cute if I could find a way to, like, make them into, like, a like a, a wind chime type thing, you know. I'll figure it out. I will I will definitely figure it out. Maybe by getting a dowel of some kind and sliding them, dangling different angles on the, on the dowel. And then I can hang it on from our porch. Something like that. I think that'd be cute. You know, for the springtime... And they're, they're the particle, you know, this is your typical Dollar Tree particle board sign. But there's the blue one. You can see it a lot nicer. And these, even if you wanted to, you could take these off and put them in a journal. You could put them, I mean, you could do whatever you wanted with them, really. I'm going to get a little closer so you guys can see. It looks like wood grain. So it looks like there's actually wood grain there. And it's the same with the, what would you call it? This is a, you know, like a can't see it as well. You know what would be nice even if you went on this, got a um, sandpaper, not a, a very low, low grade sandpaper and just kind of sandpaper it on here to give it kind of, you know, give it a, like a rusty kind of look, a rustic look. Isn't that cute? I almost didn't get these. They were, they were way up high or I couldn't reach them. And I saw that, and then I saw that someone had taken them down. This was the last welcome one they had in the, the shovel. And you know me and bees. We have discussed that already. And it was sitting down in a spot I could reach. So I ended up grabbing them all. Let's see what else we got here. And then I got I got a couple more of these. Of the large candy. Um, one, I, in the bathroom, I'm going to do a bathroom tour for you guys. So you guys can see the organization I did using Dollar Tree, um, Dollar Tree storage things and so on and so forth. So look out for that one. But in the bathroom, I took one of these and I put all our scrunchies in them. So all the scrunchies and rubber bands I have in one. But my mom, she can't open jars too much anymore. And I was, at, I told her, I asked her, I said, let me organize the laundry room and the kitchen right now. They're kind of right next to each other. They flow into each other. I said, no asking me questions. Just let me, let me do it. So what I've seen people do is they've taken their, she used Tide Pods or laundry pods and just putting them in here so it'll be easier for her to get this lid open. But I got, like I said, I got two of them and... I picked up two because I wasn't sure what I would do with them both. But the reason behind picking up two is 
for a long time, my Dollar Tree didn't have them, my Dollar Trees. So I thought, well, let me just get to, to, um, in case I need it. Now, at my store, they had one that was completely, like, um, smashed in. So be careful, because I guess they're very easy, because they're just plastic, to, um, you know, smash in. <laughs> I'm trying to see if they caught in here. Oh, I'm glad she went back in the house. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. And then in here, what do we have in this one? Okay. Um, so these are for our trip in March when we do our, um, like I said, the hide and seek thing that we do. You know, we hide things. So they have a whole Jurassic World area, Jurassic Park area. I thought these would be cute to hide in there. And it says, um, one plastic dinosaur and instruction sheet. So you can build a little dinosaur. So I had this one. And there's three different dinosaurs. So you don't know which one you get. And so I got three. Of I only saw three in my store. And I thought those would be cute. We've got, um, so far I got a lot of Harry Potter stuff we're going to be hiding. In the Harry Potter world. I've got these for the Jurassic World. I think. Unless I put it back. I may have put it back. I don't remember. We'll see. I got some Dr. Seuss bookmarkers. To put in the Dr. Seuss area. I've actually seen people. Um, hide. Not don't hide. Um, Dr. Seuss books. In the Dr. Seuss area. I think that's kind of cute. Which. I've got some that we have found. So, that would be cute. Okay, and then I finally found, I can't believe, these are like hidden in where the candles were in my store. I mean, my store just, they've got things out. It's like, it's like someone said, get it out. And they just put them out. So, they finally cut these out. So, I got the Rise and Shine. The Farm Fresh. And he's actually blue. I know he's coming up kind of a gray, but he's a bluish gray. And that one. And I got the pig farm, sweet farm. And he, again, is all, he's completely green. And these will probably, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put them yet. Oh, does this one not, oh, that's just not, I didn't notice. It doesn't have the little button. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me see something. If I pulled the tab, why doesn't the light light up now? Huh, hold on. Okay. So it doesn't have the little black... Oh, there we go. That's weird, guys. Look. You know, normally it has a little black thing. This thing here is like a turn. So you turn it on that way. Alright, so here's the... If you can see it lit up. Farm. Sweet farm. You can see a little more green. Okay. Not that one that way. These feel too... They're nice. They are. This is a particle board again. I feel they would break really easy. But they've been on my wish list. So I was happy to find my wish. A couple wish list items. Okay, let me see the cow. If he will light up. Come on. Oh, I do not like this little knob. <laughs> so there's the cow. Kind of. I know I got it all lit up in here. So there's the cow. And then my the rooster. <laughs> I have an area where I'm kind of put my roosters. So maybe I'll just stick him with this guy with them. The rooster. And Jeremy's going to get me a rooster for Christmas. So there we go. And I, I probably like the rooster... I like them all. Let's be honest. I don't have a favorite one. Okay. So I got those. Finally got those. Those, like I said, those are on my wish list for the longest time. I'm setting up my thumbnail down here. <laughs> uh, and then I, I don't buy candles from Dollar Tree a lot due to um, their throw isn't that great. But I haven't seen this one. Peach, Skin, and Mint. Soy blended scented candle. It's fresh scented perfumed foils. And 
Is it Greenbrier? Let's see. I can't tell. Anyways, my candle area was even full. I was in shock. But I saw this one. If you guys could smell it. So there you go. It's just a one wick little candle. This is something I would light in the bathroom. But it's got that. You can smell the peach for sure. I don't know about the mint. But I definitely smell the peach. And oh, I just can't wait to light this one. Uh, a yes ma'am. On that one. Okay. And what else we got in here? Oh my goodness. Y'all. Run to your Dollar Tree. Run, 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 run your Dollar Tree. Now, they may have had this in years past and I didn't pay attention. But when I saw it this, this time, I, for Dollar Twenty Five, and it's a metal thermometer. And they had about four different designs. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's um, like a bluish lavender, like a blue as a background. Then you got the lavenders and all the different flowers. Put it this way so you guys can see it better. This would be great if you have a friend whose birthday's in the spring and they love to garden or even just sit outside. This would be great for a gift for them. And you could put it, um, you know, like this with some gardening tools and or maybe some gloves, some seeds. This is just, this I think is like mm, one of my favorite favorites that I got today. That, yeah, I was really happy with that. Oh, I did get them. Okay. So, I got the Dr. Seuss bookmarkers to hide. So, I got those. And you get eight bookmarkers in here. I wonder if Sabrina want to give these for Valentine's Day instead of Val Valentine's. Okay. Time out. Let's do a time out. So, we were looking at Valentine's in Walmart. Her class is 20 kids, 21, she's the one. Um, and we were looking at the different Valentine boxes that they had. None of them, there were like eight Valentines with eight slap bracelets. That was the stitch, Lilo and Stitch. And then there was like, the most, I think we saw one had 16. Now what happened the days that you had 30 something and you had them for years and years and years afterwards. That was just a little, I was like, really? That just kind of irked me. So I don't know what she's going to do. If she's going to get them from Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree, I haven't seen the Valentine's out like they normally do. Like in the box Valentine's. Has your Dollar Tree brought them out? Mine hasn't. And basically in the past, that's where she's. we've just gotten a package at Dollar Tree. So I don't know. We'll see. Now, I got this deck of cards it's the hello kitty and friends matching game i got it for journaling but i'm taking it let's see um cassie and i were talking about when we do go on our trip if we get stranded in the hotel room because of rain because last time we did because it rained one afternoon like torrential torrential downpour and we just couldn't leave the room so, um, I'm trying to find, like, card games, things we can do in the room. So, these are cute. Look at that. So, you got Hello Kitty. Got Choco Cat. Uh, who is this? Tuxi. Tux. Tuxedo Sam. And these are nice little cards. So, if you like to make match games with your children. Pom Pom Meranian. Sabrina and I, when she was little, we used to do it all the time. Batsy. Um, another Choco Cat. These are cute little cards. But I'm like I said, I'm also planning, probably getting another set. I only got the one, the little twin stars. I might go get a couple more sets. And they have a Hello Kitty store at, in Universal. Maybe Hyde is set by the Hello Kitty store. Um, but again, they were near the top. And there were enchant enchant. Not Enchanto. Is it Enchanto? 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 The Disney movie? The really cute Enchanto Disney movie? Um, that one happened to be where I could reach it, but the other ones were all in the back behind like seven Enchanto, and I just didn't want to pull them all down and, and do that. So I'll go. I'm like, I'm like, like, Michelle, you'll find them in another store. You'll be okay. <laughs> 
Sabrina said she wanted some mechanical pencils for school. I found these ones. All little pastellies. But then I found, and that's four. But then I found these with little grippers. I'll give them to her here. Um, I'll let her have these. But this is what she was asking me for earlier. Earlier. Here. Thank you. You said you, pencils? Yeah, you said you need a mechanic. You want a mechanical pencil? Yeah, I really do. Yeah. Okay, I guess you leave me now. <laughs> okay. And then in the pens, I found, not that I needed them, but I wanted them when I saw them. I thought these are really neat. They're um, e eco-friendly cork. They're like pens made of cork. Hey, get out, get out. Yeah. Because you don't need to be looking at stuff yet. <laughs> I'm looking so at let me stuff. pull these out so you can see. That's for me for my make that's for me makeup and stuff. Okay. So I can look right. Yeah. I just want to pull these out. Oh, oh there they are. Yay, I like these. Okay, show them while I'm pulling these out. Okay. Here I'll move out of the way. Yeah. Okay, so I got these. <coughs> And they're just regular ballpoint pens. Ooh, feel these though. Because mm -hmm. they're made of cork. Oh, wow. So they're eco friendly. Let's see how they write. That's kind of. Let's see. Okay. They write like a ball. like it a, like a pink. Oh, no. Is it a pink? Oh, no. No, it's just a regular. I didn't see that. You did that so fast. Oh, no, something. These are nice, guys. Again, if you're giving. um. I really want to start doing, I think I told you guys, the the box of gifts again. So when Sabrina gets invited to a party or um, we have to give some to the teacher. These would be great if you got had a journal and, a, and some of these. These are really, really nice. And then I found these ones. And these ones are made of straw. Some straw pens. Straw is really a big thing right now. They're making dishes out of, the straw, out of straw. All kinds of stuff. So let's pull these ones out. Okay, I don't like the way these ones feel, Can I feel as much as the cork ones. The cork ones feel better. Feel the same. These feel like paper. They feel the same. Not to me. These feel like paper. But the colors are so pretty. Again, these are a really nice set of pens. And I think I'm going to go back and get a few sets to keep in, um, like I said, like in the gift roll, in the gift thing. And then there were these ones. And these are wheat barrel pens. I'm assuming they're made of wheat. I mean, I don't know, that's what I'm assuming. Okay. Ooh. Okay, these ones feel like a bowl. Like, um, have you gotten those 50 cent bowls from Walmart? It's like, what are you doing? <gasps> Did you tear that apart? It's table. Oh, my child. Um, like a plastic cereal bowl from Walmart? They're the, the 50 cent bowls. Don't those feel like it a little bit? I like it. I like it. Like That's also the... Silas. So I can click on oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, Silas. okay. Oh, okay. So it twists open. So you can pop. It twists open. Take a picture. Okay. Don't be messing around. Child. <laughs> Don't be so messing weird. around. Okay, so you got a stylus at the top. Boop. And that's how it writes. It's a thinner. It's thin. This, I like this one. These ones I like. So there's another nice fit. They're to hide in it at, at, uh, at Universal. Okay. Okay, and then I got stop going in there. I just want to look. You see in a minute. Stop. Then I got these wheat wheat That's barrel okay. pens. So they're this way. I it just I'm so I'm really excited with their econ and these feel like paper. These feel like pens made out of paper. Yeah. So I just lay little pens. These are thin. Like a, these are just nice pens. I have definitely <laughs> nice pens. Okay, my child is driving me bananas, okay? <laughs> okay. Let's see what I am one. a banana. Oh, this is for you, too. I'm a banana. Hold on. Banana. Sabrina, stop. I lost it. Oh, my gracious. <laughs> uh, Sabrina's got a little bit of a rash on her arm. Yeah. So I they had some eczema cream just to help with it. And then I got some, these Valero sparkling pear and honey now. paper facial masks. I'm gonna start getting more 
more mask and look at how pretty that is if you were doing and they had a whole thing whole facial thing with this design this um pattern the sparkling pear and honey so there's that I'm gonna start having some more fall days. I got. I'm just stocking up on umbre uh, rain ponchos for our trip. Yep. So um, Florida, you know that. And they had uh, these are actually kind of. So I just grabbed. Like I said, I just grabbed the pink. Do you got this orange. Probably We've them. already got some clear ones that we didn't use last time we went. This is for our trip, also. This is from the the um, Modesty Basics. Um, I use their, like, their feminine wash, wash that they have. But Why these you were, cards? just hold on. But these were, um, disposable washcloths. And they were 18, it was a large. And I thought, these would be good to have on the trip, just in case, you know. I don't know. For $1.25, I thought, why, why not? Okay, you're ruining my thumbnail here. <laughs> Okay, got those now. This one. Oh god. Okay. What's in here? Okay, so in here I got. I got this. It's an under eye massager. Hey, you know, it's an under eye massager. And um, it's by this new company that they've been getting stuff from. Be pure. Has anyone heard of it? And it's not. This is not a Green Briar brand. Um, Great value. I don't know who makes these. I don't know if you've seen them, but I thought I'd give it a try because I get that puff. I get the puffiness under my eyes. I just get the. So I thought I'd try eyes. this. And I said you're just basically supposed to, you know, scoop it under your eyes. So we'll see what happens. I just get... Stop opening my glue. Goodness. <laughs> Sabrina, I'm serious. Do oh. not open my glue. Oh, you too. Do not open my glue, child. And then this, if you guys watch Crafty Girl, I don't need any more makeup brushes. But she... I didn't do it. It's the intrusive thoughts, Mom. <laughs> I opened the glue. Okay. I don't need another makeup brush. Well, I had three packs of gushers today. This one is set... <gasps> Oh, it is so soft. Can I feel? You just don't feel that. Wow. So soft. But the reason that she... Oh, hold on. It. Hold on. I'll give you right back. The reason I got this one was, oh my goodness, it's got little, um, like, candy... Sprinkles. Sprinkles in it. Is that not the cutest? It's all Crafty Girl's fault. If you watch Crafty Girl, you know what I'm talking about. We love you. Oh, <laughs> I don't know who that is. Crafty Girl is... Just, she does a lot. Okay, I got this for my trip. For um, for your trip? For our trip. To take my makeup brushes in. It says slay all day. I do slay. They had ones that said, they had different colors, but I like the hot pink. And they had ones that said something about you're beautiful, you know, all kinds of different ones. Beautiful, but I got that beautiful, one. Beautiful, beautiful mom. It's not bad. It's like a, a netting here. And then nice here. And I almost picked up every single one. I'm like, Michelle, do you really need every single one? No. But there, so you just put your brushes in there for traveling. I thought that was nice. You know me, I'll probably go back and pick up the rest. <laughs> and then... Really? I thought we were going to save money to go to shopping tomorrow. Then. We are going shopping tomorrow. And then this is another crafty girl. She found these. I found these. So I got them. We found these. And this is, again, that Be Pure brand. And it is uh, mint. Guys on the tree. Don't blow in my stuff. No, that's Gracious thing. me. Okay. It's a mint lip scrub. And it says, uh, begin with clean dry lips. Apply a generous amount of sugar. Scrub all over and gently massage and circular motions on your lips. And remove with a warm towel or tissue. So I got this one. So like I said, that's the lip scrub. And it's a mint lip. And then they had a mint lip oil. Which is um, apply a gracious amount to lips to help hydrate and create a shine. We'll be back. <laughs> and then they had the lip scrubber. So 
So do it exfoliate your lip. It says using the applicator and apply your favorite lip scrub. Use the scrubber with the longer bristles and gently massage in circular motions to exfoliate your lips. Once done, apply oil and massage the lips with the shorter bristles to help create the perfect oh pout. Okay, here's the short, the short bristles and the long ones. I should have got an extra one because someone I know We'll probably take this and then I'll be and then I'll be out. I also got these. This is, um, I usually don't, I've never really used the Borello shampoo. I've always used the like, I've used the makeup remover cloth, things like that. But this was moist, moisture and hydrate shampoo, coconut, coconut milk. And sweet almond oil. Say goodbye to dry and hello to silky soft moisture infused hair. And they had the conditioner and the shampoo. It says eight fluid ounces. And I'm not going to open it. Uh, it is sealed. Is it sealed? Let me see. No, it is not sealed. Oh, it is inside. It's got the little thing inside. But um, these again, I'm going to take, we're going to take on a trip. So I got those. So that's not bad. Eight fluid ounces for $1.25. I don't, the little travel shampoos, they don't do a dang thing for us. So this, I got these. Um, the main ingredients is water, which is nice. And then it's got, you know, all kinds of stuff I can't pronounce. But yeah, so those are for our trips. So I got some shampoo for our trip. And then in this, you can blame on Crafty Girl. Yeah. And actually, yeah. You can blame this on Crafty Girl. This is, again, another Bolero product. Texturizing Hair Perfume. This is the coconut and sea salt. Enjoy effortless, beachy ways with a single spritz using this blend of tropical island scents. And it's paraben-free, cruelty-free, dye-free, sulfate-free. Is the shampoo the same? Hold on. I didn't even look. It does not say. Okay. Um, so this is the how it looks. And it's the coconut and sea salt. And let's open this and see how it smells. Are you coming out? No, I'm coming home. Okay. You didn't bring it out here, I don't think. I oh, wait. Right there. No, that's not it. Well, take that. That's your cream. Sabrina. <sighs> you wonder why I stress out. Could it be? I have an 11-year-old. She'll be 11 in a couple of weeks. Sorry, guys. Um, Hold on a minute. Let me get this open one second. Okay. I was going to spray it, but I don't need to because I got the thing. Mmm. Definitely, it is very perfumey. Let me kind of do this and see what, if it when it starts to dry. I thought this would be the good one because I love anything coconut. I don't know. It's just, it's got a very perfumey smell when you smell it in the bottle. Okay. And this was the the chamomile. This is glow hair perfume. So that's texturizing. This one is glow. Boost your hair radiance with a single spritz using this blend of balancing scents. And this is chamomile rose. And I'm not a big rose person. But this one has. It says lightly spray hair perfume three to four inches from hair and feet. And feel instantly refreshed. I guess if you want to put on your feet, you can too. I'm thinking they'll put it on like your uh, pillows. But anyway, so there's this. This is the rose. Chamomile and rose. Might as well say safe. Okay, let's see. Oh. Now this. Oh. See, and I thought. Oh, this is a dream. This is clean. It's a nice, clean, oh, yes, 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 yes. I need to stock up on this one because if, oh, yeah, that's the one I want. So that's the chamomile and rose. That one smells really, really good. 
back. Okay, this one is a hydrating hair perfume and it's cucumber mint. Feel instantly renewed with a single spritz using this blend of fresh and soothing scents. So let's see how the cucumber mint Hey, is. there's a little dog. Oh. All right, this came up. Let's, let's actually spritz it and see what happens. Um, let's see how it smells. Okay, ready? Come here. Ew. I like that smell. Let me see. Come here. Maybe your hair just is dirty. I don't know. My hair is clean. I took a shower yesterday. That don't mean nothing. You've been out playing all day. <laughs> no, I haven't. I don't smell anything on that one. Oh, Let me do it this way. Let me see. Okay. Now, I can smell the mint. Definitely can smell the mint. Smell Hi. like like this. I do like this. Our Sadie, she's been really cold. She's Sadie's fourteen years old. She's losing her eyesight. She hasn't been feeling so great the last couple of days. So I just so chill. I think you need to take her out of the chilly garage. Go 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 go. Go on. Hold on. Bless yeah. you. And you okay. need to get out of the chili garage. Go take your medicine. Go. Oh, so I gotta leave? I can't come Here. back. Here. No, you need to stay. I can't come back? No. Tell everyone bye. Bye, y'all. Go. See y'all later. Did this you say, find your phone? This, yes. Okay. Say, say, say bye, too. Stop pushing me. She's worrying. Say, say's worrying me. But we'll get to that another time. Then I got... I needed some, like, makeup sponges but i found these makeup remover towels and you get Bye, guys. you get two of them so two for dollar 25 they're the beauty hand wash only cold lukewarm water um do not use bleach cosmetic brush cleaner or makeup remover uh, well i was planning to use it just with water just to kind of blot my setting powder so i got those Oop. And then, the reason I'm trying to get her to leave, I got one for her and one for her sister. These are so cute, you guys. Makeup blender sponges in the shape of hearts. And they look like, I mean, it's supposed to be like little cupcakes or candy. They got the little, um, like paper cupcake wrappers. So they had the one in the pink, which I'm going to send to her sister because she's not a big pink person. And they had the one in, like, the reddish pink. Are they not cute? So this is my Valentine's Day gift to the girls. And then, so what I'm doing is, and then they have the little makeup remover heart shape sponge pads, making little pads. So this one will go to Cassie, and then this one will go to Sabrina. And that's just my little, and I'm drinking crazy for Valentine's Day, so that's my little Valentine's Day gift to my girls. Um, so I gotta get Cassie's email for her, but yeah, that's, gotta hide that so much as Rena don't go snooping around. Sorry for the noise, guys. I'm almost done, I promise. This is one of my longest. Um, sorry for the noise, like I said, guys. Okay. What the heck? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I was almost done, guys. I thought I was done. What's in here? Okay. Okay. More arts and crafty stuff. <laughs> I've been eyeing these little pom poms for a while. I like the darker colors. I mean, kind of. You guys must see. You know, they're coming up. Not like, really shabby. You get like the almost more like the fall kind of colors. I don't know if I'm using for craft, or I may just put them in a glass jar and then put some flowers. So it's kind of like a, a jar. What do they call those? Jar scatter. And then I got it, the one in the pastel. So I got the one in the pastel and the one in the kind of like the darker color, the fall colors and the spring kind of color. And they're 25 in each. I only got one package of each because, like I said, I don't want to go nuts so not so crazy. Um, I found one thing of beads. I'm not. I mean, you guys have seen if you've watched my um, Timu hauls. The beads I've gotten from Timu 
for six feet for under a dollar i'm definitely more impressed with but i got these i may keep it one strand i may take it apart i'm not sure but it was the only one i saw so i grabbed it and then again for our trip and i don't think i've seen these at my dollar tree they had um i've never seen this game it's called lay down and go so these are you know and in as uno to go so little card games to play in in the hotel room like I said, if we get stranded because of the rain i've never seen this game take low down lowest score wins pocket size cards for on the go play it says um kill each player cards in a three by three grid player takes turns replacing high value cards with low value cards each action card is swapped for steel cards add up your cards so well you know again if we get stranded that's what those are for <laughs> okay okay that's gonna be big and then this is what i went in dollar tree for some coconut oil uh, I want to put it on Rumbo. He's really, his skin is just so dry, and I've heard that this is good for his skin. And I did look it up, and I did say, there's like controversy. Some vets say yes, some vets say no. I got a smaller one also of the candy dish one. And this I'm going to use in the bathroom for barrettes. Uh, I, the way I have my barrettes right now, it's just not working. So I thought if I put barrettes in the smaller one, for the bathroom that would work Look that down. Ew. <laughs> and then i've got to see these they've been out for a while it's a little car trash can it fits in your cup holder in your car my car is a disaster there's trash all over my car I thought maybe if we had this it might help a little bit i don't know maybe i don't know then i got a couple of books that's another thing this year I want to get uh, really get back into reading and I found this one the lady upstairs bringing out the worst and someone has its rewards the lady upstairs uh, this was regularly $16 in the stores this is by Haley Sutton and basically she's a blackmailer in Los Angeles and she's trying to do one last job and she finds secrets so you know whatever we'll see <laughs> the last book i got from dollar tree which was called last things that ended up being a really good book i was very surprised because you just never know i mean you just don't know when you pick up any book anywhere you don't know and this one i got called spooky girl paranormal investigator jill balken sky i don't know if it's a novel or a true story it just says on the back i was never ever going back to that locker room Whatever was in there, it couldn't have been a ghost. Mom had taught me when I was little that ghosts might be scary, but they were never threatening or just plain evil. That thing in there, though, totally evil. So I don't know if this is... Uh... Okay, no. Um, it is a novel. Okay. Uh, Violet has always known that she inherited her late mother's ability to see ghosts and communicate with the dead. So I... Paranormal, all that I think is cool. Um, here's what the cover looks like. It's called Spooky Girl. Okay. That's without the cover. <laughs> but um, this book was originally $16.99 US, $18 Canada. So, yes, yeah, so I got a couple books. Ooh, ooh. Then, again, it's I'm trying to organize. I got all the Planet Caddies. Planter trolleys or caddy trolleys that my store had, and they had four. So I got all four. And what I'm going to do with these, I said I really want to make, try to make things better for my mom. And I saw um, Cheap Chick, Cheap Chick on the dot, Cheap Chick, where she put, she glued these in. I probably won't glue them in. And she, of course, spray painted them to make them all look one color. And then she put like all her cleaning supplies in it, put it in her cabinet under the sink and she could pull it you know pull it out when she needed it i'm gonna see if i can do it with her, with her pot her pot lids it, that door that that cupboard is just crazy 
So I'm going to try to see if that'll fit the pot lids. I'm not sure if this will fit or not, but I'll let you know how it goes. Once I get it all organized, I'll let y'all know. So I got this, and that was the last thing I got, was this and this. <laughs> and um, 